if you want to know how to make a custom proximity prompt GUI like this in Roblox Studio, then watch this video all the way to the end. Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make custom proximity prompts in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. All right, you first want to get this model in the description. It's going to be called Custom Proximity Prompts New. I've already got it, so just make sure you guys get it. And then once you've installed it, then make sure you head on over to the toolbox, click on My Models, insert it, and it will come through right here. Next, you want to drag this script into Starter Player Scripts. And now it will work. But let me first show you how you can actually use these new Proximity Prompts and how you can change it. So first, let me quickly insert a part, then add a Proximity Prompt inside of it. And this is going to be set to the default style. So if I just test this now and we go up to the part, you can see that it is a default proximity prompt. So if you want to use your custom proximity prompt, make sure you duplicate it. Or in this case, I'm going to duplicate it so I can show you the difference between the two. And for my second part, we're going to make this green and this is going to be the custom one. Change style down here. Choose custom. So now if I test it, we've got the custom proximity prompt but they don't look any different because I've just got it set to the basic proximity prompt. So if you want to change, if you want to edit this and make it look different, all you have to do is drag the default into a part and you'll see nothing comes up and make sure you click enabled. Oh, I dragged into the wrong one. There we go. So this is the GUI and then you can work from this. So you can open up default and the prompt frame. This is the background. So if you want, you can change the color of it. You can make it green just like that and you can also go even deeper and you can change other things like the little button you can change the color of this one make it like red or something oh wrong one uh it should be button frame there we go so you can see it's red you can also make this invisible and you can make it look really really cool so i'm just going to quickly make a cool little one myself And then once you've finished customizing your proximity prompt, drag the default back into the script and make sure enabled is set to false. So now if I test it, you can see this is the default one and this is the custom one. And you can see it works the exact same way as the original one. Oh, so yeah, that is it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.